Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Stationaries episode 29, which originally aired live on Twitch. Just a little reminder before we get started that the Twitch series is, well, dozens of hours ahead of the YouTube series. So keep that in mind when providing feedback in the comments. For this, I'm going to need a frame, I think. I don't have any on me, so let's get a frame. I'll probably need to make the frame out of steel. As crazy as it sounds, because I'm just out of everything else. So fine. Steel frame. Nope. And then steel sheet. I actually might need two. Uh, steel frames because I'm well, well we'll see we'll see I'm putting it like and then I'll have to remove the windows from below oh it's a chore man it's a chore Uh, let's reroute this power away. Print up some more cables. So the power is going to go... I can't even see what I'm working on here. And this is why I don't add floors until like I'm really good to do it because as I'm sure you're able to see having to remove all these floor panels so that I can reroute stuff and change the layout of stuff is quite the pain in the uh, the bottom. So my power will run this out here, and that should give me enough space to put the ice crusher in. And again, this isn't music. You're like scraping at the bottom of the barrel here, music-wise. You, in. Oh, the stupid oxygen. Hey, Black Axe. How you doing, Black Axe? All right. So now... Oh, my God. So now... Where's that ice crusher? You. You can go, actually you could go right here. That's pretty neat and tidy. I could, I could, I could dig that. I can dig that. All right, let's put the floors in so I don't keep falling through everything. One iron sheet. Do I have spare iron sheets? I do not. Set that up later. That is a weird dark spot. Oh, look at these weird shadows. That's kind of creepy. It's like I kill people in my basement.
All right, uh, what was I doing? Iron sheet? Yeah, I didn't have any iron sheets. I just stuck my iron in here. Genius! Oh, look at me going over my uptime again. All right, I'll wrap up this project and that will be it. Sadly for you all. If you wanted more. But a man's gotta sleep. Or he makes the world's worst content for tomorrow. All right, so a welding torch. And two cable coils with... And this is done. So... This isn't plug inable because I never cabled it up. plug in is a word now. You can use it. It's a rad word. Okay. Plugged in now. Uh, the output two is water. The output one is gas. And this is going to be easy for us to do. So the gas output here... Uh, for better or for worse, no, I'm not going to spray paint inside. Uh, I won't spray paint inside. So let me drop those pipes. I'm going to need more pipes anyway. Let's give me my iron. That's steel. This is my iron. Hook. What am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, nothing. I am not streaming tomorrow. But I am recording for YouTube, so. So all I need to do is this purple output needs to hit this pipe here, which is not a far run, which is good. So let's uh, remove a pipe. Grab the color purple. I hope, um, you know what? I'm gonna lower this a little bit. I'm a little worried about it being outdoors and uh, getting temperature messed with. So I'm going to have it drop from the ceiling a little bit like this. Um, Alright, so that's to have any gases coming out of the uh, ice crusher to then be put into my start of my filtration line. I think Rad has developed a separate mental process to talk while he plays. You mean like how I can communicate and yeah, I don't maybe. Possibly. Alright. My water line just has to go from here to here. Or to there. So one, two, three, four, like six liquid pipes or something like that. And a hydrate. Trust me, the amount of, like, mental focus this game takes, plus trying to explain what you're trying to do, plus trying to communicate with you all, it's a wee bit taxing. It's a wee bit. But I tried to do my best for the benefit of you all. I know it's, sometimes it's stuff I could work on, but, you know, I'm doing the best I can, you know? I like how I can rotate these uh, water pipes as if somehow they matter their orientation. I somehow have an uncanny ability to make exactly how much I need. So there we go. It's uh, our ice crusher can crush ice. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is to turn off all my fil filters. Uh, just so that I can see the temperature of the stuff that comes out of them. Uh, out of the nitrogen gas. Which will be in this pipe here. So, let's take a look. I've got my... Okay. Right, because this is my backflow. Uh, so this is slowly going to pressurize. Actually, why is this so dang hot? 
I think it's because this purple line connects with the purple line that's on my, uh, my, oh, oh. Wait, what the heck just happened? Why is it a hundred and... Why is a hundred and Celsius in my base? What possibly could I have done to make it a hundred C in the base? All right, let me, uh, let me leave that. No, I didn't I didn't hit the AC line. I think Oh wow, that is a lot of uh Seriously? My autosave stopped working? FML. Capital FML. No, it wasn't a leak anywhere. I think it was that the I know why it was. Uh and I'll explain it really quick. But every now and then this game will stop autosaving and boom, I just lost like 40 minutes. <sighs> Inner peace. Big F, yes. Big F. And and what worse worse than that, so I'll I'll do an autopsy of why Okay, wow. This is I'll do an autopsy of why that happened. If you're wondering, I think what's going on here is is this. Basically, if I if I turn off these uh filters here. Oh man, I'm so far behind now. Makes me sad. If I turn off these filters uh the purple uh lines here are not very well insulated. And then the day, that temperature is going to climb, climb, climb. So let me uh, test that theory before I call it quits for the night. I'm so bummed that I lost all that time. That's that's so annoying. This game's supposed to autosave, but sometimes it just doesn't. And it screws you when it doesn't. So I think what ended up happening was um, that this here is technically the same network as this, right? This is pipe network 705, pipe, pipe network 705, correct? As you can see, this pipe network 705 is climbing like a MF, right? It is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And that's that's equalizing with the external pressure uh, temperature of 102 Celsius. This is a flaw in my design. Basically having this furnace outside is ultimately a flaw in the design because these pipes here are not insulated and as not being insulated the gas in them is eventually going to climb to 100 and you know it's eventually going to the gas is going to eventually climb to uh uh to 100 c which is the outside temperature and then this pipe is radiating temp uh, heat now when i have my filters on all of them all the time there's never enough volume in this pipe in this intake pipe to ever actually heat up the base. But as soon as I turned off these filters to see what kind of an effect the ice crusher could have, all of a sudden I got radiant heat, boom, like a like an old school uh, radiator. And this will be most prevalent um, daytime. So I'm gonna wait until daytime to show you that my theory here is correct, that, uh, that basically I have to rip out all this um all this plumbing that shares a border with outdoors which means uh this purple line here should probably drop into the ceiling a little bit uh my refeed uh at least in this area either that or i need to push this win window out one i need to expand beyond that act event And yeah, I, I will eventually remove the ice, uh, the external furnace once I have an ice crusher. Obviously, I don't have an ice crusher anymore. I just lost, like, a whole lot of progress. Now, what did I lose? 
I lost setting up the airlock in here. And that's about it for that. I lost all that mining that I did. I lost putting... F no, maybe I never had floors down here. But I lost the airlock, which also means I have yet to remove the external airlock in here. So let me do that, I guess, real quick. To recover the pipe and the passive vent that's out here. And the cable rerouting too. And all the all the all the chemistry station, the microwave, all that stuff. Oof. Big oof. All because this game sometimes forgets to autosave. I'm I'm supposed to be autosaving for five minutes, and obviously for 45 minutes it just didn't. And then um Ben Kablamo. It happens, but it is sad when it does. Yeah, it ops stopped auto saving again. It's because I didn't die enough today, yeah. It's just trying to squeeze the the needle nose pliers to my uh my brain's dim. Oh well. Alright, so before I cook my base again. Oh, now it autosaved. Ha ha ha! Before I destroy my base with um, with the heat that I've theorized why it's happening, I will uh, I'll save. So if I'm not correct, if I'm if I'm correct, as the day approaches, uh, this pipe here is going to get piping hot, and then the base temperature is going to skyrocket. That's my that's my hypothesis. And, uh, I, I bet I'm right. So what are we, external 140, okay, yep. I may be wrong. If that's the case, I honestly have no concept, no theory as to why the base got up to 100C. I really, at that point, don't. I don't know. Is this pipe, I mean, it's not that hot yet, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I did have more pipes radiating. I mean that that's that's a possibility. I can add a few more. The pipe heat is heating up quick, but the base isn't. Maybe it has something to do with the ice crusher. I am going to uh I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work that theory right now. To see if it has it something to do with the ice crusher. Because if I if I am to avoid this bug in the future, um I need to get to the bottom of it. Where's my iron? It's 
So right now the the base is um The base's temperature is not climbing dangerously or anything like that, even though this pipe is super hot. Um So this does not fully confirm my theory or anything. What is that noise? Is the music? Because that sounds so much like the battery noise that's creepy and uncanny. Alright, let's do ice crushing. Set up the ice crusher again. Gold, copper, iron. I'm going to start filtering this stuff until I'm ready to go just so I'm not adding ridiculous amounts of heat to the to the inputs and base. An hour longer. I know it seems like that. This is more just like the game just took a a very unnecessarily large dump on me and uh and I'm trying to figure out why. Alright, so there's my ice crusher. Got it. Now it may have done it may have been something so let's let's take a look at the pipe right now. It may have been something along the lines of Okay, uh along the lines of um Um the pipes connected to something within the base. Meaning, basically, like, as soon as the ice crusher was connected up, that's, uh, relatively, that's, that's more or less what triggered the, the heat event. So going off of that theory, oh, too far. Going off of that theory, we will connect this up with one more pipe. I don't know. At some point, I just might not know. I might have to be okay with not knowing why it went kablamo and all of a sudden everything in my base started getting like absolutely ridiculously hot. So we have re replicated the quick way without doing everything that I did last time. We replicated more or less most of the uh, scenario here, right? Um. Okay, let's save one more time, because now that I have that ice crusher built, I... Well, I don't have the water. I don't have the, uh, the water pipes done. Um... Well, let me kill the filtration and see if that starts overheating me. Maybe something ruptured or something, I don't know. But... The gas in this is hot, but it's not blowing me up hot. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a, a bit of a loss. I'm going to guess, like, the game glitched or something. Because I don't have a better uh, explanation. Unless you guys do. <laughs> Just the two of us. Oh, this, I know it wouldn't have been the smelter because I've smelted a lot before. I've used my arc furnace, no problem. And it's also external to the base, so it's not like it can produce heat. Dark magic is going to have to be the explanation here. I don't have another explanation.
Okay, obviously we're not cooking ourselves right now, so. I don't know. I do think that these purple pipes should have at some point be um, pulled into the base. Because this is what, uh, 876, network 876? Because um, being external to the base can potentially introduce heat into the system. Hey, Sis, uh, Sisyphus Zen, I think. Is that right? Welcome to the chat. Is the furnace pipe separate from the internal intake pipe? No, they're the same network. It's all basically input gas. Purple is just like the input gas color, which is why they should be at some point separated out. And why that yellow pipe that I have there should be purple. go well I uh, I've got to say I have no idea I have no idea why our base went full tilt inferno mode maybe I have to be okay with it um, but obviously for next stream let me pause this music for next stream, I'm going to have to put back all of my chemistry stations and all that because they're all gone. Um, and remine up all the stuff that I've lost, namely the, um, uh, you know, namely the ice that I was going to crush instead of uh, melt in my furnace. Because that might help with all that crushed ice, 20% of that um, volume of that ice is nitrogen that would help cool down my nitrogen tank, which would help regulate the base's temperature uh, more effectively. But um, I am an hour and a half over time, and I've lost like 40 minutes of, of progress. I'm going to have to constantly remind myself, and maybe I can rely on you guys who regularly tune in for this, remind me to save often, because sometimes the game just stops auto-saving, and that's a big rip when it does. Um... Yeah. All right, the last thing I want to do before I log out, let's have this be a clean extra half hour, is to uh, to color the pipes a little bit, the correct color. So let me just take an arbitrary section out of here, and then all of this yellow pipe will turn to purple. You came at the wrong time. Uh, that that is that is true. If only I had a creative mode enabled. I mean, I know how to enable it to be able to just dev in all that ice that I lost, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So now that is the same network, same color. Um, these pipes out here are the ones that I think need to be removed. And I'm gonna I'm gonna just set it up so that I'm not in danger next episode of repeating that same problem. Thanks, MacBeer. Cheers. Yeah, that furnace outside can be removed and sold to the trader here. Um, I don't need it anymore. In fact, I don't need this or this or oops, that. I don't even need this furnace either. I can start breaking down these furnaces uh, to for for vending. Uh, 
Oh, but my trade, my trade stations are offline. Whoa, don't fly into the... This uh, music is deeply concerning a little bit. Also, my mushroom. Um, does anyone know, can someone go to the wiki real quick and figure out if mushrooms have a different t temperature tolerance? Because I lost a mushroom and I don't know why. Uh, so that volume um, pump can be removed too. Look at these ugly cables. My god, what was I thinking? I can not quite see that. Now, one thing I could do to remove the possibility of heat is have insulated pump uh, pipes out here. But I think just removing a lot of this uh, run will serve most of the uh, most of the the need. They need to be dark. Oh, okay. So I, I did that as wrong as I could do it. I killed it with a light. All right, that's set back up. That looks nice. Well, the cables don't look nice. Uh, while I'm here, let me fix the cables, I guess. What are these cables trying to do? This is... This cable drops to a light, I think. Come on, rotate. I hope I didn't reconnect something inappropriately. It's really hard to tell when they're embedded like that. Uh, and then all this stuff can be broken down as well. And I could sell this to the vendor eventually. Uh, boy, is there a lot of it too. I don't think he's going to have much of an issue. <sighs> Let's go patch our suit up. That was not a high impact, by the way. That was sort of absurd. God, that was scary, though. Come on. Let me in. Look at this. Four, five. All right. Just forget it. No more pressuring for you. Oh, dang it. I don't even have duct tape. All right. Where's my iron? It's in here. That's a mistake. Always, always, always have duct tape on you.
Why did I just take more damage from duct taping my suit? What is going on in my silly suit here? Okay, well, duct tape is done. Uh, all right, let's go back out there and finish what we were doing. I also just turned on the um, I turned on the uh, the trade station. Venus is out to get me. Yeah, it is. Oh, and I'm low on water and food. All right, Venus. Stop trying to kill me. All right, let me, uh, while I'm staring at him, remember to sell. He doesn't pay well for really anything I'm selling him, but that's fine. More money than I had prior. And I get to reclaim all these cables and whatnots. Alright, definitely a lot cleaner out here now. So that's parts good. The sun is coming up. Uh, what else can I sell you? Here's this. Here's this. Here's this. I feel like I'm going to go for broke now. Let's get a little bit of ice just so I can test out the ice crusher because that's... I can put back the tables eventually. But you all wanted to see the ice, I'm sure. Let's see the temperatures of the ice. Where was the ice? I found so much of it. That's silicon, gold, iron, burning retinas, coal. That looks shiny, but that looks like silicon. Was it in here, though? In lead, iron, copper. Save? Yeah, I can save. We have been auto-saving, though. At this point, I might just ran out the hour. I know how ridiculous that sounds, but... Oh, uh, this... Nope, that's not ice either. That's not ice. Getting a little bit too hot for me. Is that ice? Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, good. The mining bug. Well, I can stare at the ice jiggle, but I cannot mine it all that effectively. Because I can't see. Okay, let's get back to base. I have enough ice. I have 51 to be able to experiment. I am mining at least, yes. Casually harboring ice in 250C. Yep. Insert some cheeky whatever about triple point. I'm also in a partially punctured suit to be covered in duct tape. <laughs> Which is, you know, good good times. I swear, this just goes extra slow to torment me. There we go. Alright, 
a little bit of uh, atmosphere and analyzing. So 37. Um, so the important thing here is that we have 39 degrees Celsius nitrogen. And we have um, 140, let's say 140 moles of hydrogen or uh, of water in there. All right, so now this goes straight in that. As you can see, the temperature of that water is plummeting. Temperature of my hydrogen is plummeting as well, and the pressure is going up. It's all processed. We maybe doubled the amount of water that we have in the base. And... Uh, yeah. Why does the ice crusher still have water in it? Oh, because I'm not... I don't... I'm not pulling it out. Okay, that's good to know. Don't uninstall the ice crusher because it stores water. We could volume pump it out. Uh, if I move this volume pump, we could stick it. Uh, well, I don't have a straight section that isn't nicely put, but uh, so the nitrogen got colder. It's 32 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it works pretty well. Um, I guess what I'm going to do now is move the, oops, move the cables a little bit and then put those, um, chemistry tables back in. That's what I'll try to do for this, uh, the remainder of my time. And this time I know, well, I might not actually have all the resources I need for it, but this time at least I know to do tape, kit tables, not kit furniture, like it used to be. That's cleaned up. Definitely looks a little cleaner. Uh, my coolant is negative 18. And the water is slowly going to climb up to room temperature because I do have a little water radiator here. Um... So crushing water into ice actually helps to cool the base a little bit, which is kind of nice. Oh, here's my kit console. Yeah, yeah, let's put that where it needs to be. I'm not going to build the rest yet. Obviously, I'm not going to get to the automated furnace tonight. Just, you know, everything takes takes a long time. So the furniture. I should save. Yep, just keep saving. Yeah, I uh I, I sort of wish that um when the base started cooking itself for whatever reason, I did a autopsy save to try to figure out exactly what was going on. I didn't do it and I reject I I regret that, but whatever. At this point, um can't go back in time. All right, so let's make two tables. Hi, buddy. You're pretty animated, man. I think it's... He's... He's up and about because it's cold in this room. You need a blanket? 
yeah, you probably do. So there's the tables. I'm not certain I'm going to have enough resources for all of the reagent things, but if I can cook you guys a little bit of supper at the end, you know, as the closing of my stream, that would make me a little happy. So I'll try it. So let's see, we need a microwave. upstairs and uh, move at least the soybeans around. I'll be back for the rest of the crops. I guess pumpkins can be in that rightmost bench and then mushrooms are going to have to be elsewhere. So here's the microwave. Uh, forget the paint mixer. I don't really care about that reagent processor. And then eventually a chem station. Microwave. So here's what you could do in the microwave. Oh, it really doesn't tell you much, huh? Hey, manufactures wait microwaves manufacture tomato soup interesting here's the reagent processor I know it says I'm making a headlamp but I'm not Okay, so, uh, what am I making here? Um, I don't know. Don't know what I'm cooking up. What do you guys want? Got a preference here? French fries, of course. Uh, so I don't have enough soybeans to make that right now because my soybeans are currently uh, just planted. I can make a baked potato. I don't know if I have enough for corn soup. I'll check. I definitely don't have enough tomatoes for uh, tomato soup. So the corn soup, here, let me see. Corn soup is five corn and I would only have, I only have a total of five corn. So, and that's with none to replant. You know, because I have one corn here and four corn up top that I could harvest. Uh, so let's see what I've got. I have four tomatoes. I'll have uh, two corn. I think I could make popcorn, right? That's just corn. Oh, does popcorn require um, oil, though? 
For some reason or another, my rice was only one harvestable. I only have two wheat, so that's not going to do. Eventually, what I could do is get rid of all these ferns in the back row and start planting a ver different variety. They took popcorn out. So, yeah, all I really can make is a big potato, I think, with my current recipe. Let's, Because let's see. Let's see. Uh, food. Milk would be oil and fern powder, which I don't have. Soil, I don't have enough soybeans for soy oil. I shouldn't even look at the egg. The bread is way more flour than I currently have. Baked potato is one potato. I can do that. Cereal bar is 50 flour. Uh, flour here. Where is flour? Uh, wheat in a reagent processor turns wheat into flour. Well, here, I can reagent process my wheat, I guess. Uh, insert two wheat. Oh, uh, the, yeah, that's not on. Ten grams of flour. So I made you some flour, uh, but a as you can see here, I'm not going to be able to uh, to do much else other than you know I don't have enough for seal bar or whatever. <sighs> Pill medical is silver, cobalt, and fern powder. Tomatoes. 10, pumpkin, 10, paralysis pill. Uh, muffin is more flour than I currently have. Plus, it's an egg. I don't have oil and potatoes. I don't have oil. Soil bar, I only have a fifth of the flour. Corn soup, I, only, I don't have enough corn. So, yeah, it's really just a baked potato. So, you can have anything on the menu, provided that you order a baked potato, guys. What is rice used in? I'm actually not sure. But big potato. Let's see. Let's take a look at I don't even see the rice in here. Like oh no, here it is. Rice. I don't. Oh, right, right, right. See if the trader pays more for it. Alright, so let's do that. Let's bake one more potato and then put a raw potato and a baked potato in the and see if the act of processing a potato yields a better price. All right. Here we go. Yes, it did turn into a bowl of mush that turned into a baked potato because magic. That was good timing with the music. But I didn't like that music. All right, Mr. Trader. Here's a baked potato. Here's a regular potato. Baked potatoes sell for 87 bucks. Regular potato sells for 23 bucks. Oh no, it's so it doubled the cost. Little extra microwaving doubles the cost. So, good news, guys. I know how to make money for nothing. Basically. I'm gonna come for your, uh, your mushroom, boy. Go get it. Go get your mushroom. It'd be hair hilarious if it was like times 20. I bet some of them are ridiculously more expensive. Um, I just don't know which is which, but it's like times 2.5. But yeah, I could make a lot of baked potatoes pretty easily. So that's not so much of a problem. You bet milk would be super expensive. I bet you're right. 
if I had these soybeans to do it. But you know what I could try to do is the um, fern powder. I have a lot of ferns. I could do... Uh, I don't even know how to find it in the station of Pedia. But I do know how to make it, so... There used to be a bug, I don't, they might have fixed this, they might not have, that you could make uh, infinite oils and powders. I'm not going to exploit it, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have a bake sale. Hell yeah. That's my jam. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, it's the chemistry. Yeah. Wait. Did it just eat all of my ferns and give me nothing? I think you... <sighs> Alright. Operation Baked Potato. That should have worked. I guess I'm I guess I'm now a restaurant. Get another microwave? Yeah, I should. Um nah, it's daytime now. Alright, that's a pretty good amount of nitrogen I got. That's good. I bet my CO2 is just about out. Yeah, my CO2 is just about out. So it looks like uh, rice is not used for anything, huh? That's pretty weird. Oops. This game has no stopping points. Uh, top of the hour is a stopping point. I did go over. It was a mistake. But I am baking, quote unquote, potatoes. I don't even know where I'm going to put all these potatoes. Uh, is there something I can put away? Oh, God, I'm out of room. <laughs> mm, here. Let's put the spherical... No! Potato, no! Okay. I'll keep two potatoes spare. And now I just, I'm running around with two potatoes in my hands. Take a look. I have just, oh, don't drop it. No, no, the breeze is taking it. 
Potato, come back! I wanted to show you what I look like. I'm double fisting potatoes. Oh, yeah. How's the rest of my farm doing? Eh, fine. It's too bad I can't just plant a baked potato. Tap E to juggle. Or I could hit Q. I could hold Q down. We'll see how far I could throw a potato. Wow. I've got... They should just call me the rocket. Because... I have no arm strength. Thank you for watching Stationary's Venus, episode 29, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you would like to provide feedback in the comments below, keep in mind that the Twitch series is, well, dozens of hours ahead of the YouTube series. If you would like to catch a live stream, rodamont.com slash schedule has all the information you need. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell. <laughs>